I'm not starting the video. Okay. I refuse. This is the part where I would say, hey guys, but we're not starting the video. Is this working out? Are you happy? Are you happy? For real. Like, like, like honest. Like I feel like I am. I feel like I am too. You still want to do this? Yeah. Like for real, for real? Yeah, for real or not at all. For real. Hey guys. Hi. Today we're working on putting in some of the flooring. Flooring has been a little bit of a challenge for us, seeing as how we've already laid it once before. The first time we did it, we used uh, linoleum or laminate, and a little bit of moisture made all of the edges go like this, and it was very frustrating. So some moisture got into the bus due to a leak in the back, and after a lot of TLC, it finally worked itself out. So now we are going with round two. We have new flooring. It is gorgeous. We are ready to install it. So that is our plan for the day. It is vinyl flooring. Yes. So if there's any moisture, it's not a problem. Welcome to school. I'm failing eighth grade. I know. Seriously, good luck on your math test. Thanks. Wait, what math test? We're gonna back her up over here because rather than running in and outside the maker space a bunch to use a saw, we're gonna set up some saw horses out here and set up our saw and then bring the flooring in after it's cut rather than running in back and forth inside the building basically. All right, the bus is backed up from here. This is our setup. This is the flooring we're using. So I think I'm gonna start on this end and work my way out. Yeah, lip facing out. So like, this would be turned around here in the bus. Against the cabinet. Yeah. Starting to stagger. So the first row is gonna be all long pieces. And then the second row will be a two foot piece, then long pieces. Third row will be all long pieces. Fourth row will be a two foot, then all long pieces. <laughs> Close to the door. Look at all this floor. Oh my God. It is about to start pouring. So I've moved most of our materials into the back of my car. Sam's making a cut inside and the floor's coming along. I know we're gonna finish it today, but there might come a point where we need to start doing more cuts indoors in the maker space, which is just, we were trying to avoid it because it'd be so much back and forth. But if you can tell by the wind coming in, there's a storm picking up, which between you and me, I'm kind of glad about because it's a hot week. So this wind, this nice cool wind is so welcomed and I'm ready for a rainstorm because we genuinely need it. But I want to show you guys the progress so far. So we moved the last pallet of the flooring in just to keep it safe in case it starts pouring. And here's how much we have done so far. We've been moving this tool bucket around just to kind of put some weight. I've been walking back and forth just to keep some weight down. As you guys saw, we are using some liquid nails underneath. We really just have cleaning up this line here, here. Sam's cutting the piece for right by the stairs inside right now. And then we have two more rows. Any minute now, it's gonna storm, it's gonna storm. Here's the current sitch. We've got our chairs back in. We're trying to finish this last little, I cannot say that. Last. We're just, <laughs> we're just trying to finish this last little side and then we're done. But the rain is definitely starting. So we had to quick bring everything in, but keep it on because we want to finish it today. Woohoo! 
Man, that is snug. Snug as a pug in a rug. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't go that far. Kind of. Last piece. Nice floor. I am laying down uh, a couple pieces of leftover floor onto the top of the wheel wells because this seat is built to fit right on top of the wheel wells. It's made to rest on the subfloor and this, so this is technically a subfloor. We're just gonna add some flooring here so it's, so it's all even and smooth. And then we can put the seats back in place. Look how Good. No more wood splinters. Add a little runner here. I can't believe it. It looks so good. good. You did great today. You did awesome today. Next, we'll be attaching the seats to the floor. Installing this table, which is under a hunk of junk here. There. Electrical. We're waiting on someone's help with that. Installing the ceiling. And then quite literally just decorating. Planks are a little wider. Oh, she bright. Oh, she bright. Yeah, the planks are wide, which I think it just looks really, I don't know, it just looks a little more sophisticated. It, yeah, it just, it makes it look, like I think if the, if the boards were like really close together, I feel like it would seem like really busy and it just looks, I feel like it looks wider. Like, I feel like we have more room suddenly. It definitely looks like it. And I think it'll be nice because a lot of the white planks that we already have in the kitchen are a little bit smaller. The ceiling, the planks might be a little thinner. So I think having that look will be really nice. Yeah. We got this done. What time did we start this morning? Well, we got here around 9.30 or 10. It's 4.15. I don't think we made our first cut until 11.30, just getting set up and everything. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good work today. I'm so proud. Yeah, oh, I'm so great. excited. So Sam found $20 on the ground, so best day ever. Luck's turning around. Here's the finished look. We're so proud of it. I'm stoked on how this turned out. So we're in the car. We're going to go pick up some dinner. We're just kind of looking back on the day and how the flooring went and how truly seamless this flooring was. And just how happy we are with this because there's so much else in the project that it's like just chasing that perfection and trying to get it right and trying to get it right. And yeah, yeah. I think what, what made me want to turn on the camera was like the realization you were kind of talking about, like it's your first time doing something. It's not going to be perfect. Right. And this is like the second, no, this is like the third time I've done the floor because the first time I put it in and there are all these little gaps and, um, and then the water got in and made like the the seams kind of kind of go out like that, with swell with water. So I I freaked out and ripped those out and put them back in. So I've done this I've done this in the bus. This is my third time, and I'm so grateful that this that it came out the way that I wanted it to, because we were just talking about perfection and. Um, I have a tendency to be hard on myself about about what I how my projects work out and how I perform and I think that there is a I'm teetering this fine line between being hard on myself unnecessarily and I want my work to be good. I want to look at my work and say, "Yes, that is good enough." Mm -hmm. Like nothing's going to be flawless, nothing's going to be perfect, but I hate paying for somebody to know something for me. I can learn anything. I can get better at anything. I want to have that capacity and I want and to be and I want to be proud of my work. Yeah. That's a that's a great feeling and there are so many things in the bus that make me feel like I want to start the bus over from scratch because like, oh, I know what to do here. And I know I what to do here. Go ahead. I think, sorry to cut you off, and I think that's what made me really fully understand, and I've known this, but like to really understand why you see people who do builds of any kind, van, schoolie, et cetera, et cetera, and they hold onto a vehicle for a while, and then they're like, 
okay, now I know what I want to do. Right. And either they take apart a small component of that or they're like, you know what? it's time to move on from this vehicle. Mm -hmm. I want to do it again. Right. And for some families, it's so different. Like, whoa, this bus is way too big. We need to downsize. Or, okay, our family's expanding. We want to go larger. Or, why did we do a van? We should have just done a schoolie. Or, mm -hmm. why the heck did we think we were going to like a schoolie? Let's do a tiny house, et cetera, et cetera. Sure. And seeing, like, other builders are, or other, like, van life or schoolie people, whatever, on YouTube when they say like selling this or we're getting rid of it or it's only been two years in this bus and we're ready to move into a van and like seeing people eviscerate them in the comments like what do you mean you just put, spent all this time yeah and like but at the same time but that's the learning you, process yes, that's the like, learning curve but, like if if you're gonna learn you might as well get it right mm -hmm. and like this this building the bus we've been doing this for like two years and i have learned so much. My brain is so chock full of new information and new perspectives and little tidbits and little factoids mm -hmm. of like, oh, you should try doing this. Oh, use this material. Try using this. Where, yeah, if I started with a brand new, yeah, just a brand new bus right off the, uh, right off the bat, I would do things so differently and it would happen fast way faster yeah mm -hmm. it wouldn't look the same as it does now and that doesn't diminish the work that's being put in now because we love how the bus is now mm -hmm. but it's almost like that hindsight like oh okay and even with the flooring like now that we're using we have a vinyl yeah flooring now like we didn't know that at first like how beneficial that could be for moisture and just went with what was accessible, affordable, affordable, mm -hmm. and available to us at the time that we were ready to buy flooring. So it's yeah. just we just got it secondhand. We're like, yeah, yeah. laminate flooring looks Perfect. great. Perfect. Yeah, it's not real wood. Mm -hmm. Little did we know that it absorbs moisture like nothing else. Mm -hmm. It looks like garbage the moment it gets warm and wet outside. Yeah. And also recognizing and remembering that everyone is prone to doing things so differently and like what work. I mean, you could apply this to anything, but mm -hmm. what works in one build or for one family or a couple, whoever, um, like, oh, this is the best. Like, I love yeah. this composting toilet. I love this flooring. We did our ceiling like this. And so it's easy to see someone do it that way and try to mimic that. And it's like, that's not going to work yeah. in here. And that doesn't day, work for like, us. You have, or... to see what, you have to see exactly what works exactly for you mm -hmm. and there have been so many times where i've had paralysis by analysis where i've oh this person saying this works this person saying this is better oh uh, this is too expensive this is all you have to do is this at the end of the day you just have to put your foot down like here's how i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna figure it out and if it blows up in my face then it blows up in my face and i'll start over um but there's, I think there is something to be said about you will never have all the information. You will never have all the answers. You will never have the perfect guide. There is no perfect way to do mm -hmm. anything. You just have to plow ahead and, you know, have an educated guess. Know what you're getting into. Try to do some research if you can. <laughs> Absolutely. Do as much research as you can. But at some point... You have to realize that there's no amount of research you can do. There's no such thing as perfection. You can get close, and it's satisfying when you get close to it, but you only need to get close to it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. Just some reflections on the bus today. I had so much fun working in the bus today. Oh, it was the so flooring, great. The flooring looks great. You helped out tremendously. You're welcome. Yeah. We, yeah, we're, we're such a good team. You're just like tapping in and I'm holding it steady and every, yeah, it is, it is literally seamless. Yeah. It looks so There's good. There's no gaps, nothing sliding around. We got the right material and, you know, we have the wisdom that like, if there's something that we totally miss and it blows up in our face, then it blows up in our face and mm -hmm. then we know even more. <laughs> I don't know why for some reason we'd be like, <laughs> but we did it. So it blows up in our face together. <laughs> together. <laughs> but and it's okay. It's fine. 
um but i think that's going to be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching thank as you. always yeah. um i'm starving so i think we're gonna go grab some falafel and pita and we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye